Hello, in this tutorial I want to show you the mouse uh, events which can occur, okay? So, I just deleted all of the part of the program which is not needed, actually I have just this field uh, square, and uh, this is the effect, as you can see I have a great uh, uh, rectangle uh, in the screen, because I modify a few of these parameters, so that's basically it, and then uh, go to the mouse effect. So, the mouse can make actually three effects, if I remember well. The first effect which can make is the motion, it can move. So whenever I move the mo uh, mouse, there is a mouse motion effect occur. Okay, so this is the SDL mouse motion. This is the name of the effect. Motion. Okay. Okay. So make it a little space here. Okay, so if I move the mouse, the mouse motion effect will occur. Okay, in this case I want to uh, get the coordinate of the x and the y. So int x equal to uh, event, which is our event, and the event has uh, a member called motion. And inside the motion we have uh, x and the y coordinate, so equal x, and the y coordinate is event.motion.y. So simple, that's it. So we have to check that, uh, actually not we have to check because we have the coordinate, but I wanted to do is whenever the mouse is inside the square, I change the color of the square. This is a relatively simple test, and I just uh, change it back. So we have to ch uh, check that if the x, uh, I so if these two coordinates is inside th this square or not. So we can check it very easily, I guess you already did that. So we have to, you know, just check that. Is it greater than the... Uh, so the x is greater than the left side and smaller than the right side, uh, right side, and the y is greater than the up side and uh, less than the down side. So basically, that's what we have to check. So if x is greater than rec dot x uh, and uh, x is less than rec dot x plus rec dot width, okay, and we check the same with the y coordinate. So if y is greater than rec dot y and reg dot y is less than reg dot y plus reg dot height. Okay, basically that's the check. I, ho I hope that this is clear for you because it is very simple. If it is not clear for you, get a paper, draw it, and you will uh, find out why is this happening. And so if it is true, then we set the color dot uh, r, uh, actually make, make the color equal to SDL map RGB and uh, actually I just copy it for the quicker result. Alright, so we check some color, for example, make this zero, so we check, uh, yeah, and as I just uh, make the color back, back to white. So just check this FF. Okay, that's it. And actually break it out. In here. Okay, basically that's it. Okay, now we can try to run the compile and run the program. Rec Oh, I call it rect, not rect, of oh, bracket. So I just change this rect to rect, and if I change all of them, then we can compile. Oh, it, there is less one here. Okay, now. Yeah. Now we can compile and run. And as you can see, whenever I move the mouse over the rectangle, it, it's... Uh, actually, it's not work too well. Okay, I threw up one place, I believe. Okay, I threw up the one, uh, so... If... Oh, in the Y... Oh, I know where. This is not rec.y, this is just Y. So the coordinate we get. And now, whenever I move the R ma Y mouse uh, over this rectangle, it gets this color. It's a uh, uh, bluish-greenish color. So if I move out, then it will change back. Okay? And yeah, work perfectly. Okay, the mouse can make other effects as well. Okay, it can uh, uh, we can press the mouse button obviously. So case FDL mouse button down. Similarly to your, your keyboard, there is a mouse bu button down and a mouse button up. Mouse button down will occur whenever you press the key, and up will occur whenever you release the key. So, we actually almost do the same thing in here, so get the coordinate. Okay, we get the coordinate a little bit differently than we did, in, we did there, so event.button.x, like that. And yeah, and then we get the y, so int y equals event.button.y. Event 
Okay, and we did, and we do the same check except the else because if we click anywhere else, we don't want to do n anything. Just if we click to the rectangle. Okay, so if we click the rectangle, change the color of the rectangle to I don't know, make it uh, zero, make the zero. This I think this is yellow color. Okay. Mm. Okay, so oh, we don't declare that, we just uh, de uh, define it with another value. Okay, I make a stupid thing, uh, just declare this int x and y in here, so up here, because uh, uh, you cannot declare in, uh, y actually you shouldn't declare in a case, switch case, because that could cause problems, like I have problems, as you can see, it writes all kinds of errors. As you can see, it's declared it previously, and if I delete the declaration, it's, uh, yeah, all kind of problem. So you should just declare uh, about it and use it inside the case. Actually, you should never uh, d uh, do that, which I have done. Okay, so now we can compile the program and run it. And as you can see, whenever I go over, it goes to this color. Whenever I click, it goes to this set color. Uh, of course, if I move, it goes back to the original color. Okay, uh, now we want to make is uh, whenever we release the button. Oh, by the way, I wanted to show you that not matter which key I press, it works with the middle bu mouse button, the right mouse button as well. So if you want to examine which button was pressed, then you can check the event.button.button .button value. So for example, if event.button.button if event .button is the SDL but, uh, button left or FDL button right or FDL button middle it could be. So for example if I put an N here and examine that, so event.button.button dot button is equal to FDL button uh, left, then only the left button uh, will change the color, the other buttons are not. As you can see, I clicking the right mouse, uh, right mouse button or the middle mouse button, nothing happened. But if I press the left, then it will change the color. So that's how you can examine that. Okay, and actually we make a mm, uh, make a mouse button up. Although this not really matter. But if we uh, just release the button, we change the color back to white. Okay. So if I just copy it and uh, change it to up, then I can compile it and run it. And as you can see, I click, and when I release the button, it actually change back. Uh, yeah, yeah. So click that you can see. Uh, yeah, basically that's it. All right. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a great day.